wakurugenzi in 2014 jamaa amekatu mtala pale Russia akajiambia walai haki ya Mungu sitateseka hii town watu wakiwa so akapanga mambo yake vizuri akiwa nyumbani akabeba vifaa vya kazi anaenda nini robbery akapita bank akasema hapana hiyo haitoshi akapita masupermarket kubwa kubwa akasema zi hiyo haitoshi akaenda akapita makampuni kubwa kubwa ambazo ziko na pesa kwa volts akasema hapana kidogo kidogo akamulika salon akasema bas this is it jamaa teke teke piga blanco ya salon teke akaingia ndani akaambia huo madam ako hapo anaitwa Olga oya chini nataka kila kitu pesa kwa hiyo register yako na kama kuna dryer yako expensive nionyeshe ya yeah, nimekamu kuvuruga leo Olga ni nani akamwambia kama nikupatie hizi ziko hapa kwa mfuko jamaa ni fala haoni hiyo ni trap akatembea akakaribia Olga Olga kidogo kidogo piga mtu ngumi ya throat before pipe ya kupumua ijiache tena ashapiga mtu take yani lock safi piga mtu kahasho ngumi safi ya kumpeleka usingizi quick guys Olga ni mdem si ati naongea juu a a ni mdem any other person angepiga simu kwa polisi aseme oya kuna mwizi amejaribu kuniibia hapa nimemwadhibu kujeni mumchukue not olga guys believe it or not olga had a stash of guess what viagra yes this lady force fed viagra to this guy for three days straight alikuwa anamtumia kama sex slave Man how gangster is Olga Wakurugenzi mambo imekuwa ngumu anza kipindi Hapana <laughs> jo Collins hatuwezi kutoa garisa huku jage kufanya hii kazi bali. Ah, moment, young and stupid fresh out the kitchen guys. Oh my god. Hapana Collins, yeye imetosha sasa. Wacha wacha nijipigie sasa <laughs> kutoka hapa. Oh my. Ah, hii ni kuenda tukiendaga sana. Hii ni story fupi but uh, the story moja ile ni bamba deadly nikasema hii lazima niwapigie sababu hey man you have no control of how your day is going to end up you really have no control watu wamekapitia hapa nje hii story ni story ya a colleague of mine in the entertainment world ni jamaa mnamjua vizuri sana kama Nikki Big Fish wangapi wanajua Nikki Big Fish mnajua Nikki Big Fish anafanyaga ma pranks Naswa akona nini yake fulani Instagram ya ma pranks anatesa sana mnamtambua Do you guys know his story Ah I got you Now So Nikki Big Fish kijana ako high school between around 2005 to 2008 there about Amepiga high school yake safi sana isli high school pale I think alikuwa darasa kadhaa nyuma ya kinkaka Eh amemaliza vizuri 2008. Okay. Sisi watu ambao tuligroia kwa informal settlements. <laughs> Ukishamaliza class 8. Ah oh, sorry, form 4. Mzazi wako anaanzaga kukuangalia na tulitoa mahari na huu mtu. Huu mtu mbona atoki? So baba ya big fish kila time big fish anaingia kwa nyumba anamwangalia na hii nyumba tunalipa watu wangapi? 
So it didn't take long for big fish kugundua hii hapa hapa lazima nitoke. Eh amemaliza form 4 so ako na nguvu ya kufanya mahasol hasol zake hapa na pale. So okay akaamua kushika kakeja mahali anapiga mahasol zake za usanii. He's a actually big fish guys. I'm sure most of you don't know but he's what I'd call um I use that word all the time. Wakati naitaka inapotea. Filo, ule mse mwenye huyu doing kila kitu anaitagwa? No, there's a there's a Ah, uh, what? A polymath. That's the word. Nimekuwa nikishine na hiyo word hapa miaka tatu. Wakati it really matters inanipotelea. So Nicky Big Fish is a polymath. Akiwa primary alikuwa swimmer deadly. In fact, that's where he got his name. Big fish. Mnamjuliza ngeri itakuwa big fish kwa nini? Ni kitu wewe. Hii ako sawa. Clearly huyu ni mtu ajui kuswim. Mtu anafanya hivi. <laughs> so brilliant swimmer akiwa eh, primary, akaingia high school akapiga madrama. Nini ni hatari, ni deadly. So after form 4, wakashikana hapo na kikosi yake ya maboy, ya mabeste wanapiga comedy safi wakajita nini rib crackers because yeah wanajua ku crack ribs ni wafani kuruka so hiyo time if you remember uh, clearly during those days around uh, towards the end of 2010s uh, beginning ya hii hii decade ingine kulikuwa gospel ilikuwa mnakumbuka hizo ndio time kina kina bahati wanatokelezea hizo ndio time kina wilipoze wanatokelezea like gospel was a big deal in this country so of course kila msanii alikuwa akichipuka hivi anajia line towards gospel niki big fish kijana wa dandora marafiki wake wote wanavuta bangi yeye kanisa sababu gospel is where it's happening anatoka dan eh, huruma piga hiyo kichochoro yote moyo airbase kuja na juja road yote kuja kuja pita pangani girls pita ingia na hiyo barabara ya kwenda karioko enda enda tokelezea town tafuta vile utashika Mombasa road wewe enda mpaka south sea mahali kanisa yao iko niki alikuwa anapiga hiyo barabara mguu multiple days a week sababu huko ndio mari hasol zao walikuwa wanafanyia nini nini na hezi hata eh sababu once in a while walikuwa kitoka hizo rehearsal wanaangukia kagiga hapa na pale 96% of the time juni gigi ya church wanalipwa na bwana asifiwe asifiwe sana wewe unaenda mbali oh shara baba unaenda mbali hakuna ma, malipo inakimbiza mtu hospitali kama hiyo umetoka huko umepromise landlord unakuja kulipa rent two months alafu unapigwa asanti ya shara baba ah So mazee ikakuwa ni routine. Niki big fish wanatokaga huruma, wanaenda mpaka South Sea Church. Wanafanya mambo yao, wanafanya mambo yao. Then jioni ikitu. Baka wapi? Huruma. Mungu halali. Mungu halali. Wameenda wakaitiwa ka gig mahali. Baada ya gig kupiga kumaliza, ule jamaa vile aliwasalimia, aliwapiga shara baba baba, lakini hapa kulikuwa na kakitu hapa unajua ile una pewango utaki hata kufungua unataka uende uangalilie huko uko in disbelief sababu unaweza fungua mkono upate note ya Jesus loves you guys <laughs> wameenda kando wamefungua wamepata wako na pesa taslim kama elfu moja hivi wako vijana watatu rib crackers funny vijana funny fani ukitoa expenses 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 hapa na pale ah si mnabaki na pesa yenu kama 120 shillings na mko watu wangapi watatu wakajiambia tuko na 120 shillings we're not about to walk from south sea all the way to huruma like we are cockroaches kai twenyeje sisi ni mende We are not cockroaches. Atutembei kutoka South Sea mpaka Huruma. No, never forget. Tunatembea mpaka Pangani, tuchukue ya kumi. (laughs) 
tuchukue ya kumi kutoka pangani mpaka huruma tukifika huruma we touch down like vips hakuna kwenda kwa nyumba kwani wewe ni kuku no tunashuka matatu yetu kama tumelipa 10 bob zetu straight tukielekea place inaitwa Kagongo. Kagongo ni kibanda inajulikana sana. Mimi am from all the way in Kibera, but I used to know about Kagongo. Ilikuwa ni maskan safi. Hiyo in fact rafiki yangu alisema, hiyo si hoteli, hiyo ni money laundering. Because explain to me how 10 shillings can afford you rice, supu ya kuku maragwe na nyama juu tembo au si watu wanaosha pesa money laundering 101 but it was the place it was the place hiyo kitu na, na si chakula tv hivi ah ah ni chakula unatoka hapo unasema ndio hata nikikula kesho kutwa i'm good inasafiwa hivi ni kama pyramid eh so base ni sahani Then wanapiga pyramid ya mchele. Alafu ukiangalia pyramid vizuri inakoga na layers. So aka ka layer kaju ndio wamepiga kama ragwe kiasi. Alafu the cherry on top of the cake ni kipande cha nyama. So it's up to you to decide where you want to attack this pyramid from. Unaweza anza hapa chini kwa kamchele na kasupu ugonge gonge then ukuje umalize na dessert ya maharagwe na nyama hapa juu. But kama wewe ni kijana ambaye hauna nini you can decide to pop the cherry and start with the meat alafu kule regrets baadaye Ah Kagongo it's the place man Kila mtu akona pesa yake kwa mfuko fiti wametembea all the way from South Sea wamefika pangani wamesimamisha matatu na kiburi Bana We're building the economy bana. Si ni watu tukiwa hivi watatu tunalipa 30 bob. Oh, natujua wewe. Hebu bana, niweke kiti ya dirisha bana. What do you mean? Niki big fish. Na kikosi yake ya rib crackers wameingia ndani mazee. They have cracked ribs. They have 40 shillings to their name. 10 shillings ya matatu, 10 shillings kagongo, 20 shillings ni ya kutesa. Wameingia wametulia wanaelekea zao wapi huruma so from pangani to huruma uh, watu wangu wa uptown unatumia barabara inaitwa Juja Road wacheni ni wa educate amtembei Nairobi nyinyi kabisa so Juja Road ukienda okay, kabla ufike um, huko huruma unafika mahali panaitwa mlango kubwa i wonder why i have never seen a door anywhere there if anything the doors there ni tudogo tudogo sababu tu nyumba ni hii design. So kufika mlango kubwa. Eh eh. Weka, weka kando. Mtu amelipa 10 bob na kuaga na kiburi fulani. <laughs> Nashindwa ama karao ni nini inawasumbua. Mbona wanatusimamisha? But ah wako sawa. Karao akaeka gari kando, akakam, akaingia. Akapiga, 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 akapiga ini kuwapiga macho. Karawa kwa na memory. Mhm 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 mhm. Mhm. discover out of probably 25 people in the mart. Kama watano peke yake ndio walikuwa na safety belt. Now, kula pause. Toka 2008, toka, toka. Rudi 2004, wewe. Serikali iko only two years old at the helm is none other than hayati mheshimiwa rais emilio mwai kibaki emilio mwai kibaki ameamua kupatia nani ministry ya transport nani mishuki ameingia na mbwembwe aje amewaambia nini mishuki nikiamka asubuhi nyinyi nipate hamna speed governor nyinyi eh metafraya nataka speed governor Nataka mshipi matatu ikisimama mahali ambapo hakuna stage. Ah, mtaona fire. That was way back in 2004. Hapa tuko 2008. Simnajua vile wa Kenya tunakuanga. Sheria zinawekelewa. Tunafuata kabisa. Baada ya miaka tatu, tunalegeza. 
kumbe ule mtu alikuwa kwa eh, cabinet hiyo siku hiyo time akasema ha watu hizi sheria za michuki ni kama wameacha kufuata nataka tutengeneze tu, example na a few of them eh, kidogo tu ili iwe funzo kwa wengine ambao wana tabia kama hii nitengenezeeni wachache kuja hapa kwa watu wanaenda kagongo karao weka watu kando karao ingia kwa matatu karao gundua watu less than five wako buckled up karao shukisha kila mtu mwingine isipokuwa hao watano karao bakisha hao watu hapa hakuna mahali unaenda kadhe ah ah eh hey, maintain maintain mariamu come ah watu wangu wa uptown Mariamu si mama anazungusha samosa ama smoky. No. Mariamu, in fact, take out your history books. Let's let's do some history. Zamani kabisa huko America wakati blacks had no right. Kuna mu mama alikuwa hatari sana. She was black lakini she lived in a state that was predominantly white. Her name was Maria. Maria Manze alikuwa mdeadly baka racism ilikuwa inafika kwake inapiga kona Ju Maria na ule Olga wa Viagra Sen anaweza kukufanya mbaya So Maria was such a badass baka the cops at the time white cops walikuwa gawana seek assistance from yeye Like Maria alikuwa mdeadly mpaka alikuwa anachapaga mabandits akiwa peke yao peke yake anawapeleka stage yani alikuwa mdeadly your design so wakati eh, eh, wali leta ot- automobile tukatoka kwa horse drawn carriages tukaingia kwa magari zile gari ambazo zilikuwa zinasafirisha prisoners kutoka kotini mpaka prison zikaanza kuitwa black maria in memory of this maria madam sasa huku Kenya umepata good sasa huku Kenya tukaitohoza kidogo haikuwa ni a prison eh, van ili tukasema ni van ya polisi so kale kaland cruiser ama ile lori actually o, the original mariam ni ile lori unakumbuka ile lori ilikuwa na kakamba hiyo kamba my friend by the time unashika uinue miguu upande umekula rungu 15 ni noma So Mariamu ikaletwa. Niki big fish wako na kiburi sababu gani? Wako na futi bobo. Ama karawa nataka nini? Aje tunaweza wachotea. Si ni watu tuko kwa pesa mbaya. Makarawa kakaleta Mariamu kina niki big fish ndani. Teke teke. Wapi? Pangani police station. Wamefika pangani haya. Toa viatu, toa kila kitu, toa mshipi. Ingia ndani ya cell. Ah, uh, kuna mtu anataka kupiga simu? Piga. Simu zikapigwa. Eh, majamaa tumeshikwa tuko pangani polisi tumeingizwa kwa cell simtacheza kinyinyi ah haina mambo tutacheza pup simu zimekatwa in fact niki yako na relative ni jeshi so ajali ashaambia watu ah worry not i got him ah wana mtoa kesho kwani yeah it's panic so the following day ni kotini very fast wazazi washaambiwa kujeni eh, watoto wenu wanasomewa mashtaka leo wakulipa ma fine walipe watoto waende nyumbani niki big fish amewakilishwa hapo na baba mzazi mpendwa akiwa na mama yake mpendwa wamejiami mbele nyuma <coughs> na kasuku ya chakula <laughs> na ngoja kuona huyo jaja naambia watu mtaenda ndani miezi sita ama mulete gorogoro ya mahindi kila mtu Majamaa wako pale ndani wanasomewa mashtaka. Niki yako tu pale anasikiza yeye na kikosi yake ya rib crackers. Ah, uja jakai hata kucheka. Hii talent yote ya rib cracking haisaidii kwa hii koti. So kuna commotion sababu watu waliletwa wengi. It was very chaotic inside the court. But judge akasoma mashtaka na before judge asome mashtaka walikuwa wamepatiwa leakage wakaambiwa we, wewe muepuke ngori judge akiuliza kama mko guilty ama not guilty admit semeni mko guilty mkijaribu mseme ya mko guilty mnaingizwa remand mtaka huko miezi sita ah wakasema sawa wacha tukubali makosa kwani ni how much tutalipa 
jameleta nini akapiga ile story wanapiganga hapo aha aha na koti hii imewapata na hatia na inawafunga kifungo cha bla 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 ama fine ya shilingi 1100 kifungo cha ikapotea sababu kuna commotion ajasikia ai we amesema kifungo cha how much nimesikia mtu zangu ama amesema kifungo cha miaka mbili. Eh hey, kila mtu akamwambia yeye ni kama amesema kitu kama hiyo kiki kiki miaka 2 ama fine ya so eh hey, simu simu guys simu we dadi sasa jaja amesema anatusukuma ndani 2 years ama fine ya 100000 niki big fish alisikia silence kiasi kwa simu silence kidogo sana ya kitu kama 3 to 5 seconds then baba yake akapiga tu asante bwana Asante bwana. Nilifikiria watakusukuma for long bana miaka mbili ni kidogo bro. Ah, ingia pambana na wanaume wenzako. Oh, asante. Ah. Nilikuwa najua wanakumaliza hawa. Unajua walikuwa wanasema amski so wanataka kuwafundisha. Ah, yeah, yeah. Two years. Ah, sawa. Iko sawa. Ingia pambana wewe ni ndume. Wewe ni ndume. We? Niki anagundua gai hapa hakuna so inatoka. Chakula ile walileta kutoka nyumbani wapatie ni big fish atakuli atakula saa ngapi? Waliikula tu hapo wakiomboleza. Hey Niki. Hey, hey. Hii Nairobi. Niki teketeke. Akawekwa bling bling haraka haraka. Pandishwa nini? Mariamu tena. Sasa ni kuelekea wapi? Industrial area remand. Kai Jesus. Wadau. Mtu akiwahi kupigia simu akwambie ni aje mjamaa wamenipeleka inda please nitoe tafadhali mtoe Inda is not for the faint hearted Unakaanga pale huruma unakaanga pale kibera unakaanga pale kawangware unajiambia vile wewe ni bazu pandikizi la mtu mimi ni jana dume Unaingia industrial area all of a sudden unaanza kufeel kama Cinderella sababu Mandume wanagonga mlango bu 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 Leta huyo mtu leta huyo mtu hapa Maze unaji question aki ya Mungu nimeishi na nyinyi 23 years amjai niambia mimi ni msupu Leta huyo mtu Niki alikuwa nasikia wanaume wakigonga milango goosebumps goosebumps we washaingizwa wamekwa kando wameambiwa sasa aa hapa tupotezi wakati kuna mtu afande atakuja awaulize maswali mbili tatu ukijibu vizuri mtapelekwa mahali mnafahamu we muende huko ndio mnagawanyishangwa watu wa state house wanaenda state house state house ni e e prison iko hapa Nairobi West hiyo ni state of by standards za committee na hizo zingine huko ni holiday e, watu wa committee wanapelekwa committee huko e, sasa ni maximum security hawa wa makosa ndogo ndogo under three years ndio mnapelekago huko ma Nairobi West Kiambu prison yeah those small small ones but kuna afande yako hapo kazi yake tu ni kurarua yeye ako hapa kuhakikisha ameiwaingiza uoga So kuna afande wa kwanza anapitaga akikwambia kesho mtaulizwa maswali fulani mtaulizwa kwenu ni wapi wazazi wako ni kina nani mko wangapi kwenu unaendaga kanisa gani we ni wa dini gani sorry e, maswali kama hizo hakikisha uko na answers kwa fingertips kitu hatutakangi kusikia hapa ni a ama e oho tafraya maze unaenda pale unaulizwa chifu wako anaitwa nani Beb chifu wako anaitwa nani? Haujui? Ungekuwa umekula teke ya meno. So apparently sababu hakuna mtu wako na time yako, we ingia na wapatia tu just in case mjipate huko. So as soon as you check into industry area remand prison like this, make sure you have like seven random names. Watu tu ujui. Eh, hey, we kuwa tunazo hapo. Chifu wako kwa Solomon Wangwe. Jibu kitu. 
Ukiulizwa kanisa yako ni gani? Options zako si nyingi. Options zako ni katoliki ama protestant. Ukianza kusema hapo mimi kanisa yangu ni dad and mom revival. Take a meno. So niki kumbe ni mtu ana grasp hizi vitu haraka haraka ashashika ashajua okay sawa maswali zinakuja ni kaende kaende asha taja my brothers wake cousins wake au ni ma sub chief <laughs> kanaenda kanaenda wakamaliziwa vizuri wakaambiwa sasa pumzikeni mudi hopa inakaa mnajua mudi hopa okay tuende vitabu za history now ile ile serikali ya kibaki ambaye ilituletea michuki ilituletea naibu wa rais alikuwa mzuri sana anaitwa nani Moody Awori as michuki anastengeneza ana streamline transport sector Moody Awori alikuwa na streamline nini prisons eh ndio alileta prison reforms so among the things alileta ni tv for prisoners na mabasi muone hizo mabasi za Kenya prison service hizo mabasi ndio zinaitagua Moody Hopper. Now you hasa umepata lotan. Good. So mume washagawanyo kila ki, mtu wako sawa anajua mali anaenda. Wakamiti wanajua wanaenda kamiti Moody Hopper yao inakam. Watu wa state house kina Nicky Big Fish Moody Hopper yao inakuja wanaingizwa. Hao ni watu wa under 3 years eh, petty offenses. Wakaingia kwa Moody Hopper na wakaelekea industrial area. Ah sorry, Nairobi West Prison. Nicky anasemaga ukiwa kwa hiyo mudi hopa unajua mudi hopa iko na mpaka grills kwa dirisha uwezi hata fungua like wewe ni mtu freedom yako imechukuliwa aje mpaka uwezi fungua hata dirisha tu upigwe na upepo au na freedom like walikuwa wanaangalia hivi machokorao wakiwa kwa street wanajiambia haki ya Mungu huni Jeff Bezos huyu huyu huni Bill Gates ni vile ajui mazao ujui hao teke teke mpaka wapi Nairobi West Prison wakaingia ndani teke teke kitu ya kwanza vua ngozi toa kila kitu <laughs> everything weka pale kando t-shirt ma jeans mpaka kale kandani kando unapewa uzi unafunga t-shirt unaifunga kwa jeans alafu unaifunga kwa kasosa hiyo ya ndani inapigwa tag Mtu yangu ukitoka hapa after 3 years utaipata ikiwa hivyo hivyo. Inaenda inawekwa. Mnaingia kitu inaitwa cavity search. Hiyo unasachiwa mpaka unasikiza huyo warden unajiambia I swear huyo ameniguza kwa gallbladder. Nimeisikia. Wallahi unacheza na Golgi bodies zangu kwa nini? Unatafuta sigara kwa mitochondria. Sure. cavity search maliza cavity search wekwa pale prison iko na prefects wanaitwa vinara vinara wanakam wako na kiburi mbaya i think ni wakamba <laughs> wanakam wanakuletea uniform uniform za jela zinaitwa kunguru kunguru haikujangi peke yake inakujanga na tenants occupants kunguni Ladies and gentlemen, makosa ifanyike upatikane ukijaribu kuua kunguni. Huyo ni afisa wa serikali, unapigwa kama mwizi. Unapiga kunguru yako, wewe na kunguru na makunguni muna maintain for the duration. Haya. Mkishapigwa makunguru zenu, mnawekwa mahali kando kwa ile push up position. Na ni kwa mchanga So you push up position unafaa we maintain. Usiende chini na usiende juu, maintain tu hapo juu. Mpaka usikie mikono zimeanza kukataa kazi, una sweat proper. Sweat yako ikiwa enough kuunda matope hapa chini hapa ndio unawachiliwa. Unaambiwa sasa ingia pale, ngoja saa 12 upatiwe kitu inaitwa mororo. Mororo ni kabakuli fulani kachuma. Hiyo ndio unakimbia pale, unapigwa maji na kaugali na kama tawi kaskuma juu eh, eh, nasikia wanaitaga hiyo process wesonga weda ugali imeingia ama imehata wesonga we wesonga we kadhaa <laughs> so 
So kutoka hapo in fact makosa ni yangu hatujafika kwa mororo bado ah ah rudi rudi eh hey, nywele unaingia jela na nywele wewe ni nani who are you Nicky big fish na kikosi yake ya wasanii wako na nini spikes zileta kwa hivyo at sasa Nicky big fish ni mtu anashika afande mkono anamuita kando ati afande unajua wazazi wangu watanikujia usininiwe <laughs> Afande akamsikiza akamwambia eh eh Hapa kunyolewa ni lazima kama ibada weka umutu wembe kwa ni kunyolewa Now saving grace ya Nicky Big Fish ilikuja hapo kwa kunyolewa Ukiwa na spikes alafu unyolewe ile ki hobela hobela inakaaga ni kama <laughs> uko na vidonda Sindio Okay, you make spikes for very long. One of the top bosses were prisons at the time. Madam Zuri sana, Mungu ambariki mahali yuko. Ameamua kupiga lap Nairobi West Prison. Mahali kina nani? Nicky Big Fish wameletwa. Akapata Nicky Big Fish ndio amemaliza tu kunyolewa. Ndio amemaliza yani just done. Akamuita, "We, kuja. Hii ni ugonjwa gani uko nayo kwa kichwa?" Niki akaona opportunity akamwambia ah 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 madam si ugonjwa mimi ni mtu nilikuwa nimefuga rasta ah ndio kwa maana uko hapa mtu yoyote wa rasta ni mtu ambaye mambo yake atuelewi huyo ni mwizi tapeli huyo ni mtu anafaa kuwe hapa akamwambia hapana madam nilikuwa nimeweka rasta sababu mimi ni msanii huyo mada alicheka mbaya ai nimesikia vitu mingi mmesikia mko na msanii hapa Kaeni chini nyinyi wote. Mkuuru amekaa mkaeni. Kaeni chi... na baeni chance kuna msanii mwingine hapo kwa nini kuja? Kam. Kama wewe ni msanii kuja, majama wawili wakatokea hapo ni mama kanga wote walichotwa huko sababu hawana uniform. Washambi ehe anzebi nyinyi ni wasanii ehe tunaibaga pamoja. Haya imba ashapiga zile rege za hodelela hodelela. Unaje zile rege za kuharibu sauti. Wakambi wewe toa nonsense hapa enda kaa huko. Wakuja kutupotezea wakati hapa. Haya Nicky Bridgefish nyinyi eh mnaitwa Rib Crackers. Nyinyi ndio mnapiga watu makahasho kwa streets mkiwaibia simu. Ehe fanyeni we wacheni niwaambie waliwa. Walipiga comedy safi baka umdosi wa prison akaita wale vinara tena akawaambia ah, 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 ah. hawa ni royalty wavuliwe hizo kunguru wamevaa wapatiwe kunguru mpya this is royalty very fast kutoka leo nyinyi ndio mtakuwa mnawakilisha prison yetu kwa inter prison <laughs> competitions Mungu awachi wasanii First order of business ni kwenda Langata Women's Prison huko ndio eh competitions za kwanza zinaanza Kina Nicky Big Fish wamepiga rehearsal hapo wiki tatu hakuna kitu kingine wanafanyaga ni rehearsal tu kidogo wamewekwa kwa mudi hopa wakiwa watatu na warden Take mpaka Langata Women's kutandika watu kama watoto wadogo wali wachapa flat wakabeba trophy zote la ngata women's walirudi in uh, Nairobi West prison wakapata prisoners wamewapangia gwaride la heshma wanawafanyia zile vitu mlikuwa mnanifanyia igwe igwe hatari kuvuruga kuvuruga riaso 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 twende next vuruga igwe Two months zikaisha Wazazi wakiwa nyumbani wakajiambia ai hawa vijana wameumia. By now juu wameserve serve sikale kasoka amepungua ama wakaambiwa eh hiyo mkitafuta 4040 watatoka. Wazazi wakaitana mkutano wakachangisha ma 4040 zikapatikana hapo haraka haraka. Wakaenda wakafanya mambo yao wakalipa hiyo fine nini jamaa wamepiga tu and a half months huko ndani ikaenda ikalipwa sawa sawa na amri ikatolewa wale vijana ambao walishikwa ambao wako wamefunga mikanda sasa wanaweza fanya nini wanaweza achiliwa makosa walikuwa wamequalify kwenda nationals <laughs> sa 
sasa tables zimetan wakati ni niki big fish na wenzake walikuwa wanaingia ilikuwa ni woi afande please afande sasa ni woi wasanii please wasanii <laughs> musiende tafadhali haki najua file imeshalipwa lakini tupatie ni siku zenu mbili twende susumbue huko national supate hiyo kikombe ndio muende please Ah akina Niki wakapiga hesabu akawa naitaweza. Tunaweza kaa hapa siku zingine mbili alafu hiyo time tunafa kutoka sijui oh wade na kona malaria amelazwa tujipate hapa tena miezi zingine tatu. Ah wakasema uongo mbaya. Wacha twende home siku ya competition ikifika mtutumie fair to come. <laughs> and after two and a half months Niki uh, Niki Big Fish together with the rib crackers walked out of prison. At Nairobi West Prison maze wakaenda wameokoka wanapenda Yesu to date <laughs> Na hapo ndio tunafunga story yetu ya leo <laughs> Kama imekubamba usikubali kubambe peke yako ita watu ita kikosi wakuje wajue kutuhusu au sio imekuwa true sana na watambu wa deadly adios muchachos peace <laughs> Yeah, no.